We will now look at the printer interface within FlashPrint, the proprietary slicer for FlashForge 3D printers. The printer interface allows us to select nozzle sizes compatible with your printer, and will adjust the print profile to suit your nozzle. We can also select preloaded profiles to suit a wide variety of FlashForge filaments that your machine can print. Please note that filament profiles may not be available with all nozzle sizes. The next drop down lets you select a slice profile which will give you the choice between high levels of detail, faster print times or standard settings. The standard profile offers a good compromise between quality and print times. Fine will decrease the layer height and slow down the print speed to increase the quality of the finished model. Fast will decrease the infill percentage and increases both layer height and print speed to reduce the overall time required to complete a print. You can then customise your printing temperatures to better suit your choice of filament. You can adjust both nozzle and bed temperatures. Bed temperature will greatly influence the quality of the first layer. Setting the temperature too high can also cause warping issues in later stages of the print due to inconsistent cooling. Choosing the correct temperature for your choice of filament is vital for ensuring your print has the desired outcome. The final section in the printer interface allows us to add a temperature control list, perfect for creating temp towers or adjusting bed temps at a later stage of the print. The control module section selects which part of the printer the control list will affect. To add a control, click the plus icon underneath the control module selection. You can enter a start layer, end layer, and new temperature. You can add more than one control as required. To delete controls, left click once on the control, then click the trash can icon next to the plus icon we used before. In the next video, we will learn about the general interface. This interface will allow us to adjust layer heights, print speed, and retraction settings. So please feel free to continue learning about FlashPrint with us.